by the grace of Allah Almighty. My dear lovely students, today we are here with another interesting English lesson. So before starting our today's lesson, first of all, let's recite with me. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. And today we are going to do tense. So what is tense? Time of an action. Beta, do you know how many tenses do we have? We have three main tenses. Present tense, past tense and future tense. So today we are going to do present tense. It is also called present indefinite tense. So what is the definition of present indefinite tense? This tense used to show an action which happens at present time. So it is called present indefinite tense. Now we will see its structure formulas for positive, for negative and for interrogative sentences. So for positive sentence with subject we will use verb and object. But keep remember beta with I, we, you, they or with plural subject we will use this first form of verb. For example, I eat pizza and then with he, she, it or with any singular we will add S or ES with first form of verb. Then we will write object. You can see one example, she eats pizza. So it's quite clear with I, we just wrote first form of verb and with she we added S. So it's clear to you. Now we will see how we will convert negative sentence. So beta for making negative sentences with I, we, you, they or with plural subject we will use do not and then first form of verb then object. You can see the example I do not eat pizza and keep remember with he, she, it or with singular subject we will be using does not and with does not first form of verb then object. For example, she does not eat pizza. So, beta with I, we, you, they, do not and with he, she, it, we will use does not. Easy? Now, we will move towards interrogative sentences. So, we will bring helping at the start. Do, we will use with I, we, you, they or with plural noun and then first form of verb, then object, then question mark. For example, do I eat pizza? Question mark. And does we will use with he, she, it, or, or with any singular subject, then first form of verb, then object, then question mark. For example, does she eat pizza? So, in interrogative sentences, we will write helping verb in the start and then don't forget to put question mark at the last. So, beta, in your summer task, some Activities are given as well. You can see these pages in which all the definition and structure formulas are given and then some activities. So we're going to discuss them one by one. Have a look towards first activity. We will have to circle correct verb. The children walk or walks. So correct answer is walk. The cook crow or crows. Correct answer is crows. We walks or walk. Correct answer is walk. You run runs correct answer is run the baby cry or cries correct answer is cries so you will have to circle all the correct verbs now we have another activity in which we have to circle the correct nouns the car or cars go very fast answer is cars the stars or star shines correct answer stars the dog or dogs barks so correct answer is dog. The wind or winds blow. Correct answer is winds. The cow or cows graze. Correct answer is cows. So beta you will have to do it. You will have to circle. Now we have another activity in which we have to change the sentences into negative and interrogative while using do not or does not. So sentence number one is we expect to get good promotion. Negative sentence we do not expect to good good promotion. And in interrogative, we will bring do at the start. Do we expect to get good promotion? And then we will put a question mark. Sentence number two, the policeman stopped the strangers. So policeman is plural. We will use do not. Its negative sentence will be the policeman did not stop the strangers. And 
In interrogative sentences, we will bring do at the start. Do the policemen stop the strangers? Sentence number three. I sit for a while in the garden. With I, we will use do not. Negative sentence. I do not sit for a while in the garden. And then interrogative sentence. Do I sit for a while in the garden? Sentence number four. He usually goes for a walk in the morning. He, with he, we will use does. He does not usually go for a walk in the morning. An interrogative. Does he usually go for a walk in the morning? Sentence number five. She lives in the middle of a great wood. With she, we will use does. So negative sentence. She does not live in the middle of a great wood. Interrogative sentence. Does she live in the middle of great wood? Now we have another activity. We have to change some sentences into present indefinite tense. So you will do them one by one. Sentence number one is, he went to school in time. So it's present indefinite tense. He goes to school in time. Number two, did they try hard? So present indefinite tense, do they try hard? Number three, the wind did not blow with great violence. It's present indefinite tense. The wind do not blow with great violence. Number four sentence, we succeeded in the long run. So it's present tense, we succeed in the long run. Number five, he painted the door with proper colors. It's answer is, he paints the color. He paints the door with proper colors. So beta, all these sentences you will have to do. At the end, I would love to say, Work hard and be nice to people so that you can get the prayers of everyone. In our next video, we'll be doing our next work. Until then, take care. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.